loving the prospect of being on ITV topping the bill this Saturday night. Ten fights, here we go. And this is not put on, actually. I know there's a lot of hype in boxing, but Nassim assures me this is all for real. This is how he feels, a really confident young man. He's only had to go past four rounds once in the ten fights, unbeaten, ten straight wins. Right, well, our commentary team, as ever, of course, the best in the business on the big fight, Reg Guthridge and Jim Watt. But first of all, here's our MC, Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, Saturday night is big fight night on ITV. From Mansfield Leisure Centre, this is the main event of the evening. Promoted by Frank Warren and sponsored by Joe Bloggs and British Coal Mansfield District Council. Ladies and gentlemen, they proudly present an international bantamweight contest of 10 three-minute rounds between introducing in the red corner, wearing the claret trunks with the blue trim from Belgium with a professional record from 14 contests of 10 wins, two losses and two draws, four wins by KO. Would you please welcome the former Belgium champion, John Michelli. And the courage in the blue corner wearing the leopard skin trunks from Sheffield. Professional record of undefeated in 10 contests. Nine wins coming by way of KO. The one and only Prince Nazim Ahmed. Today's weigh-in, Michelli scaled 8 stone, 8 pounds, Ahmed 8 stone, 10 pounds. Your matchmaker for this contest, Mr. Ernie Fossey of London, the timekeeper, Mr. Norman Maddox from Stoke-on-Trent, the referee, Mr. John Coyle of Wolverhampton. certainly got a lot of talent and uh, well the, the Belgian parents are from Sicily actually but he's a Belgian uh, natural now so uh, and fought there quite a bit he looks as though his nose has well tasted a bit of leather and now his chin has tasted a bit don't count that as it tells him free there isn't there isn't a mandatory eight eight stone ten now he's moved up that's what's now the super bantamweight division Hamid got a lot of fans in the, here at uh, Mansfield. Just look at that stance to the middle of You wonder where he gets the, the power from. It's so spread, isn't it? Yeah, he, he does a lot of strange things, but uh, when he decides it's time to throw solid shots, he can set himself all right. I mean, that was a, a nice little clout around the ear. I think it was part balance and part a knockdown, but it's nice when you can deck your opponent without even trying, and that's what happened there. Yeah, it's very well put, a nice little play, but I certainly don't want to take one. So I can't tell you much about uh, Michelli, really. Although he's fought the now European champion, Vicente Castro, that was in the Naples. I think the main thing about him, Reg, he's not oh, a puncher, yeah. any that, that's what, right in the top of the yeah. head, that one. I, this may not go the first round, Jim, by the look of it. Well, you got to hand it to, to Hamid, it's a decent performance if he stops this fellow, he's done the 12 rounds with Bill Castro. So, stopping him, especially in the first round, uh, you can't argue with that. legs have gone red. Yeah, absolutely. And the style of Hamid there, I mean, he makes Chris Eubank look pedestrian, really, doesn't he? Hasn't been beaten since 1989. Now, this fella's all over the place, Reg. His, his legs, they seem to have lost their strength. 
think he's lost a bit of heart as well, Jim. I wouldn't be surprised. I was just about to say, the main thing about him, he's not a puncher, so uh, Hamed can take as many chances and just do as he pleases, and that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, dear. That southpaw left hand did the business right above us, and he's not going to get up from that. I can't say that I blame him. Well, he's rolling about, Reg, so he's all right. I just don't think he fancies getting up, and I can't blame him. No, no, he took a shot all right. He counted him out, John Coyle. Crowd have loved it, you see. That is the first time that Michelli has ever been stopped. He's been on the canvas before, but the first time stopped. This is the first one. What do you remember about this? Well, uh, I hit him with a good right up there, but uh, as it comes on, it's a right and the first one. Now, he claimed that wasn't a knockdown, but it was. Yeah, it was a good shot. Um, it was over the top of the head, but... He was going to get more if he got back up, <laughs> which he did. Well, he did, yeah. I was just waiting for the reactions, the, the counter punches, and wait for my opening, and there you go. Whoop, there it is. You are saying you want to win not just one world championship, but like Duke McKenzie, all at different weights and things. Oh, I'm aiming to be a legend. A legend. Let's, let's forget the world titles. Well, three world titles, that'll do me, but I'm aiming to be a legend.